The European aeronautical industry is a worldwide leader and one of Europe's sectors of excellence, making a solid contribution to a stronger European Union. With 4% growth per year and an estimated need for 40,000 new aircraft in the next 20 years, the sector continues growing. At the same time, it raises concerns regarding the environmental footprint. The European Union's answer is clean sky, fostering and coordinating research and innovation in substantially greening the aeronautics industry. The objective is to integrate ambitious technologies into full-scale demonstrators to reach high readiness levels ready for future implementation into new products and markets. Clean Sky started in 2008 with a 1.6 billion euro budget. It's grown into a wide ecosystem with more than 600 participants in 24 European countries. Industrial leaders, universities, research centres and small and medium-sized enterprises. About 35% of winners of open calls are SMEs, bringing even more inputs to the innovation process. Clean Sky is already delivering large demonstrators contributing to significant CO2, gas emissions and noise level reductions. Some examples of those cutting-edge technologies are Tech 800 demonstration engine. This demonstrates technological advances for small and medium-sized helicopter engines with savings of 15% fuel burn and reduced NOx emissions. The successful technologies were integrated into the new Arano engine produced by Safran Helicopter Engines, recently selected as the engine of the new Airbus H160. ATR Regional Turboprop Flight Test an entire section of the aluminium upper fuselage has been replaced with an innovative composite multi-layer panel containing optical fibers and electric sensors actuators for in-flight measurements. These demonstrators prove the new material's feasibility and its benefits for insertion into future regional aircraft products. Blue Copter Airbus helicopters matured technologies with the objective of reducing the drag of the fuselage of an H-135 by optimizing the design of some parts of the shape. The new technologies were successfully tested in flight. Open Rotor Led by Safran aircraft engines, this new propulsion concept is expected to enable reductions of over 35% in fuel burn and CO2 emissions per passenger kilometer. This is the most far-reaching step towards CO2 reduction to date and involves highly complex technological development and full-scale demonstrations to be performed on both the engine and the installation. Advanced Low Pressure System Engine Demonstrator Developed by Rolls-Royce, the objective was to introduce a composite fan structure in large three-shaft engines used on long-range aircraft with reference to the Trent engine family. The test program included flight tests with an engine demonstrator incorporating all major modifications and new technologies. Multi-criteria departure procedure. Trajectory optimization allows an optimized set of parameters to be computed during the initial climb phase just after takeoff and it also allows the aircraft to be guided along the associated trajectory thanks to the flight management system. The optimization targets a reduction of CO2 emission, a reduction in perceived noise, or a combination of both. Airbus and Thales have tested the concept in a simulated environment with pilots in the loop. Copperbird Copperbird demonstrates the feasibility of more electrical architectures for innovative test equipment and systems for regional aircraft, helicopters, and business jets. Upcoming tests are expected to show benefits in terms of emissions reduction. Electrical actuation and removal of hydraulic fluids additionally lower the environmental impact of aircraft systems. Clean Sky One has already proven to be an efficient tool for boosting the market introduction of new technologies with expected impact on jobs, growth and investment. Clean Sky 2, with a 4 billion euro budget and running until 2024, will see greater integration of technical contributions from across the European industry. Innovation has taken off.